Good morning everyone! Today, I am going to discuss about the parts and function of plant and animal cell presented by yours truly, Mary Claire Ginger and Bautista. Let's begin our topic with the similarities of the plant and animal cell. Plants and animal cells share many similarities since they are both eukaryotes, which means that they have a membrane-bound nucleus. They also both have cytoplasm, a cell membrane, a nucleus, mitochondria, rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, a Golgi apparatus, and peroxisomes. Let's go to the parts and function of the plant and animal cell. To begin with, the nucleus is where the genetic information of the cell is housed. It controls the activities of the cell and contains the chromosomes. There are two parts of nucleus. Nucleus, it manufactures cells protein-producing structures and ribosomes. Nucleopore, it allows proteins and nucleic acids to pass through. The next slide is about the cytoplasm, cytosol, and the cell membrane. The cytoplasm is not to be confused with the cytosol. The cytoplasm is the entirety of the cell contained by the cell membrane. The cytosol, on the other hand, is the part of the cytoplasm not taken up by organelles. The cell membrane is the thin outer layer that surrounds the cytoplasm of a cell and controls the movement of materials into and out of the cell. Mitochondria is the energy-producing organelles, commonly known as the powerhouse of the cell. They are specialized to perform aerobic respiration, converting glucose to ATP, which is the energy currency of the cell that is used to perform functions necessary for life. The endoplasmic reticulum is the transport network for molecules going to specific places. It is like the assembly line of the cell where the products produced by the ribosomes are processed and assembled. There are two parts of endoplasmic reticulum, rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Both rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum help with the production and storage of proteins. Let's discuss the last part and function of the plant and animal cell similarities, the Golgi apparatus and peroxisomes. The Golgi apparatus receives proteins from the endoplasmic reticulum and folds, sorts, and packages these proteins into vesicles. Vesicles are spheres surrounded by a membrane that excludes their contents from the rest of the cytoplasm. Peroxisomes metabolize waste. They contain digestive enzymes for breaking down toxic materials in the cell and oxidative enzymes for metabolic activity. Now that we are done with the similarities, let us know the differences between plant and animal cells. One major difference is that plant cells have a rigid cell wall while the animal cell does not have a cell wall. The cell wall is a structural layer surrounding some types of cells just outside the cell membrane. It can be tough, flexible, and sometimes rigid. It is composed of cellulose, providing additional stability and protection. As a result, plant cells have fixed angular shapes while animal cells are mostly round and irregular. Another important difference between animals and plants is how they obtain their energy. Plants are autotrophs, which means that they produce their own food. Meanwhile, animals are heterotrophs, meaning that they must ingest their food. Plants produce sugars through photosynthesis and then break down the sugar to produce energy. Animals consume other organisms such as plants to obtain sugar which they then also break down to produce energy. 
The images show the similarities and differences of the plant and animal cells. This is the end of my presentation. I hope you learned something. Again, this is yours truly, Miracle Ginger, saying have a great day!